Can you use the law of attraction to become a professional golfer? Hey, this is Melody Fletcher with Deliberate Receiving, where the law of attraction finally makes some freaking sense. And all this month, I'm answering your questions on video. Awesome Alan asks, I have a life-altering question for you. I'm a 45-year-old man who's always had a dream about playing professional golf. The reason that I haven't made it on tour in the last 20 to 25 years is a lot of reasons, mainly mental. I could give you a long story about all the whys and the wherefores, but that's the past. The reason that I'm writing you is that I haven't given up my dream of playing. If I do, I'll always regret it. I might just have one more shot, and I really want it. However, I'm stuck in a dead-end job, which I must have to pay my bills. Ugh, this is where it gets really heavy. I've tried to consciously come up with a way to practice and play while working and paying my bills. As you can probably guess, I can't come up with an answer. From what I've been reading on your website and blog, should I turn over the life-altering question to my subconscious mind through visualization? If so, what and how should I visualize? And if there are any more ideas you have, I would love your feedback. Thank you, Alan, future winner on the PGA Tour. P.S. I love your picture on the top of your website. You are hot. Five exclamation points. Well, Alan, i got to be honest with you. I really don't give a shit about golf, but I'm answering your question just because of that last line. Yeah. I'm basically a law of attraction whore. Me. Okay, Alan, should you turn this life-altering question over to the universe? Yes. Oh, my God, yes, yes, yes. Okay, first of all, stop thinking of it as a life-altering question. Because when you are thinking that your life sucks, your life sucks, your life sucks, but if this thing were to happen, it would change everything, you're nowhere near manifesting what you want. It's got to feel like the next natural thing. Of course, of course I'm going to be a PGA winner. Of course I'm going to be a professional golfer. No question at all. That's when you're about to manifest it. You're nowhere near that right now. Here's what I suggest you do. First of all, stop thinking of your current life like it sucks and start celebrating the crap out of it. Seriously, look for anything that you can celebrate. Look for anything that you like in your life right now. Look for ways in which you can feel free right now. Because your point of attraction, what causes your manifestations to come in and what determines which manifestations come in, is determined by how you feel. So if you're currently not feeling good, you can't manifest something that feels really, really good. You have to feel like what you want to manifest, what you think it's going to feel like in order to manifest it. So your big problem here is that you haven't been feeling really good right now. You're thinking, if this happens, I will feel good. Well, stop that. Start feeling good right now. As far as visualizations go, get into the feeling as best as you can about what it will feel like to actually already be playing to be playing regularly, to be winning tournaments. Visualize yourself doing that and do not focus on how you got there. That's where you're going to start to get off track. So focus on what you want, don't focus on how you got there, and do your best to line up with the feeling to the best of your ability. What's going to happen is you're going to start feeling better if you stick with it, and then the beliefs that are currently blocking that from happening are going to rear their ugly heads, but not to punish you and not to derail you, to show you that they are there so that you can release them. As you do this, you're going to get closer and closer and closer to what you want. You're going to have little signs come in. You're going to have opportunities to play. You're going to have people talking to you about it. You're going to be maybe seeing an interview on the television with somebody who started late in life playing golf. They weren't 18 when they started. They were in their 40s It started, making you feel more like, yeah, I can do this too. Little signs like that are going to start coming in. See them as signs of progress. The biggest thing that I can tell you is stop, stop, stop focusing on how you're going to get there. This is your main issue. Don't overthink it. Focus on what you want. You are not designed to figure out how you're going to get there. That's the universe's job. And let me tell you, it is way, way better at it than you. You know, no offense or anything. Like this video and want to see more of it? Share it, Facebook it, subscribe to my channel, let me know in some way. Do whatever you're inspired to do. Then head on over to the blog and check out all the free content. Seriously, there's so much free content. God, I should really start charging for that. Head over while it's still free.